Hello, everyone. I just wanted to do a quick video on Tableau relationships as we wait for the new shared dimensions to come out, uh, just to talk about um, how they work in terms of inner left, outer join, etc. As I've seen on LinkedIn, a number of people saying that they don't like relationships for certain use cases because they don't understand the results they get and then do things like maybe create outer joins to get started. I just want to show that relationships don't create by default inner joins, which I think a lot of people think. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say we have this data set. We just imagine there are two tables in a database or whatever. There are two sheets in Excel in this case. One has got this format where we have city and we got Springfield twice because there's one from Illinois, one from Mass. And then um, we have revenue here. Um, and then over here we have customers. And you'll notice I've highlighted Dallas because um, it's Dallas, Texas instead of TX, and there's no Houston over here. So just remember that when we go. Otherwise, the um, city is concatenated with its state over here, and there are two independent fields over here. So we get messy data like this. So people go, well, I have to, if I don't have a data prep tool, I'm going to have to use a join to get this, but not at all. Let's take a look at what Tableau does to this. So I pull over my revenue table. We think of our revenue table as our left table. So that's the one... Um, that if we click here, you'll see down here, the table's treated independently. That's the one that is city and state independently and has Houston. And if we look at customers, that's the one with the state concatenated uh, with the city name and Dallas wrong and no Houston in it. So what I did was um, I said that city connects to city. You'll notice Tableau doesn't throw this out, even though obviously we're going to get no matches here. And I think the reason people probably think this creates an inner join um, we'll, we'll look uh, to see how it doesn't. It creates whatever join you ask it to join by depending on what you pull onto the sheet. So again, that is not a join. That is a relationship, right? So what relates those two tables together? So um, we have our two tables in here. Tableau was smart enough to make city and state in the hierarchy. I didn't do that. It did it automatically. Um, uh, of course, if I were to double click on city, it's going to try to put it on a map. That's what it does. Um, but I just want to pull city out like this. And the reason people probably think it's an inner join is if I pull city from customers, what's going to happen is it's going to go away. And the reason for that is without any other context, um, they don't match. And Tableau is doing an inner join. But I can control the join um, by just knowing what's in my table, right? So um, I have a number of customers that I could take. And if I want to know how many customers I have, and um, I pull this in and say, drop it on text, um, what happens now is Tableau does the right join for me. It lets me know how many customers I have from the one that has customers in it. So you'll see there's no Houston, right? And it will actually tell me um, in the other table, it's actually done a bit of an outer join here because it knows it doesn't match any cities in the other table. Um, if I were to pull this off, it actually now isn't even doing a join because it can answer that question just from a right table, right? If we wanted to do what was effectively um, uh, to show the outer join, all we have to do is pull something in from the other table. And remember, if you don't have a measure, you can always pull the count measure the Tableau auto generates to do this, right? So um, what we're gonna do is, uh, so what do we have over here? We have number of customers, so our left table, if we were to take revenue and also put that on text, or you know, better yet, I could take revenue and drag it here to get measure names, measure values. Uh, and I think that shows better, that shows that one's giving me um, uh, you know, the number of customers and the other one's giving me revenue. The other thing you'll notice is that Tableau will aggregate automatically, has always been a Tableau thing. This Springfield number is too high, right? Uh, I would have to, it's, it's okay over here because there's, to Springfield, right? Um, but here I would also have to bring state in, which again, I'm gonna get a bunch of nulls, but I need to do that to break up my Springfields, right? Because Tableau is gonna add them up otherwise, but but that's what it should do. So how would we clean up this mess of data, right? Um, and this is shows another powerful thing about relationships, how you can relate more than one field between two tables to make those joins work the way you would expect them to at runtime. Right. So what I could do just to show you what 
the tableau calculation looks like, they even make this easy. I'm going to split this field, right? So in my customers, remember my city is actually customer and state. So if I split that just to show you what the calculation looks like, if I do this, that is going to give me, whoops, again, um, if I were to pull city over and then I could pull state over and I got my two spring fields. Again, this is coming from that table that doesn't have Houston in it. And Texas looks kind of janky here. Um, it does, it's not going to match, right? So um, the first thing we could do, let's take a look, um, is if I come back here for just a minute, let's take a look at what this calculation is. I can edit this calculation to see, and I want this. So just to show you, this is how I pull city off without having to do um, a complete um, you know, tableau prep type work, right? So if I grab that, if I come back here now, remember when I pulled them both in, it was forcing an inner join and with no other context and measures. And so we weren't seeing anything. What I really want here is I do want city on this side, but on this side, what I want is I want a, a join calculation because I want to match city name. So there, I don't even have to remember how to write it. I had tableau do it for me. So now it's going to join city from one table to the first part of that city um, from the second one, right? So I'm gonna go like this. And now if I were to go back to our original case and I would take my city from customers here, and then I was gonna bring um, my city from the other table, voila, it works, right? So um, what happens now is that join works because I had a join clause to make that work. Um, Again, it's it's going to match in a weird way, remember, though. So if I were to say, just take this city now, I could actually ask questions from the other table. So this is city from my revenue table. So again, we're going to run into this problem without state, right? Where if I do that, uh, I would need to bring state on to break it out. Um, but if I were to pull a uh, number of customers out and put it here, um, what's going to happen is, again, I get Houston, I get a null value here. And what's going to happen is it duplicated um, these number of customers, um, and uh, which is kind of an interesting thing, right? It kind of matched Dallas anyway. Um, but we really want to match on two things, right? So this is the wrong number, obviously, right? Which I could show you. 4,900 customers is not in each Springfield right? 4,900 would be if we take this city over from the one it comes from. One's got 2,500. You'll see it was adding it up on both of them because we weren't also creating a relationship on its state. So both of the Springfields were going to one Springfield in the revenue table from the customer table. So we also need this, right? So I also want to grab this one, right? I'm going to grab that calculation. And you'll see how this works if I come back to my data source uh, and I click on this line. Some other BI tools don't let you do this, by the way, which is to create more than one, right? So this time I want state and I want state to match to this relationship calculation here. Um, and now what's gonna happen is, so you'll notice now I'm it's on two fields. Sorry, I did that quick. So now it's on city and state. I broke up that other field into city and state without having to go back to my original data source to do it. Um, and now what should happen if we had that weird situation where now, if I were to pull this city over, uh, right, and the state, okay, so this is from our left table, right, from our revenue table, but I took number of customers, it's gonna be smart enough to know how to do that. But um, of course it can't do Houston, it doesn't exist in our data, there's nothing we can do about it, but you'll notice Dallas doesn't match anymore, but it did before. The reason why is because we have to match on both now, right? We have to match on both city and state. And that Dallas said Texas, right? So um, what we could do to make that work even, and I wouldn't suggest you could do this level of uh, data prep for a great big data set, but just to say, you know, again, if you don't have access and you don't have a lot of kind of outliers in your data to do it, like this one, for state, I could come down here and edit this calculation and say, if that um, equals Texas, right? Because remember, it's going to split off Texas for Texas. Um, then I want TX, oops, TX. Um, else, if it's not equal to Texas, I want it, right? So I'm going to control C this. I'm going to end that, right? And that should be valid. And now if I go back, 
uh, it should work. Dallas, Texas, we have. And so now, again, what I could do is, so now everything matches. I, we can't magically make up a customer account for Houston. It doesn't exist. That is what it is, right? But you'll see how Tableau is smart enough um, to do that. And so now I could also take revenue and put it on here. And now, of course, I could do a calculation across. I could go create a calculated field where I could say uh, revenue uh, per customer. And I could just take, uh, you know, the our sum of revenue, divide that by our sum of the number of customers and go, okay. And then I could uh, put that also on measure names, measure values, and we could get revenue per customer, number of customers. Oh, and I actually want it revenue as well. Um, so there you go. So the, there's no reason to do a join. In fact, it's much easier, I think, to do it this way um, because you have the flexibility of depending on what you pull in the viz, you're controlling the join specifically based on the question you're, you're trying to answer. So again, if uh, going back to the start, the one thing is if you don't have a measure in a table, you always have a measure in a table because table is always going to give you a row count as a measure, and that's going to be a way to force that outer join so you can see what's missing in your data. And if your data set's not overly complex, there's lots of ways to kind of clean it up um, just in the relationship. So uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully that answers the question as you can think of other things about there's almost no case that you ever uh, have to or should do a join in Tableau anymore.